Our next presenter is Nabila Hook, and she is a PhD student in chemical and biological engineering. And the title of her presentation is Shedding Light on Lower Back Pain. All right, my guess is that most of you in here have experienced lower back pain of some sort. About $80 billion a year goes into treating this lower back pain worldwide, and about 80% of the population will eventually develop it in their lifetime. So if you haven't had it yet, there's some incentive to keep listening. Um, so the, the major cause of lower back pain is from damage to the spinal disc in that part of the back. So the spinal disc is comprised of two, two separate parts, two main parts. Um, the outer part, labeled in purple here, is called the annulus fibrosis, and this is a stiff tissue that can become cracked upon impact from things like heavy, lifty, heavy, heavy lifting, pregnancy, or just aging. Um, so the inner portion, the second main part, is called the nucleus pulposus, and this is a gelatinous tissue that can actually seep through the cracks in the annulus fibrosis and protrude or herniate and impact the nearby nerves in the spine, causing the intense pain. So the standard procedure to treat this, this herniated disc is to just remove the protruding part of the nucleus pulposus tissue, thereby alleviating the pain. However, this doesn't actually treat the spinal disc. The cracks are still there, and that can often lead to uh, recurrence of the pain. So my research is focused, on, on focus, is focused on this spinal disc problem, on this herniated disc problem. So, as the chemical engineer on this highly biomedical project, I've developed a material, a uh, water-based polymer material, um, in order to address this problem. And what this material does is that it can match both the inner and the stiffness of both the inner and outer parts of this spinal disc. And it does this by a specifically tuned stiffening of the material. We can tune the stiffness to exactly what we want. And the way we do this, which is the exciting part for me, is with application of ultraviolet light. So the more light the material sees, the stiffer it ends up becoming. So um, the, when the annulus fibrosis cracks, so this purely, sorry, so this purely light activated stiffening means that we can adjust the properties of the material on demand to fit whatever tissue it's replacing or repairing. So this means that if the annulus fibrosis cracks, we can fill these cracks with the material UV, and UV treat it to match the stiffness of the surrounding tissue. And the same can be done with an injectable gel for the gelatinous nucleus propulsus. And so uh, with this, we can achieve full spinal disc replacement with this single, inexpensive, light-activated material. And in pursuing this herniated disc problem, we've actually found that since we can so specifically tune this material, um, it actually has really good application for other tissues in the body, such as in the knee and the hip, which we're actually already pursuing. Um, so in conclusion, it looks like this is a material worth shedding some light on. Thank you. Thank you.